true multimodal systems are actually very difficult to build. Even if you build true multimodal systems in a large language model, then it is not usually any to any. That means you can ask question in text and then you can get an answer in an image or you can upload an image and get an answer in text. But having text, video, audio, everything in a true multimodal system is very expensive build or also it's a very complicated architecture. And that is exactly why I like NextGPT. NextGPT is a new architecture rather than building everything from foundation rather than having a foundational large language model or a multimodal language model. What they have done is they've taken bits and pieces from different existing systems and put together a truly multimodal system and any to any. You can ask a question. It can generate a video. You can upload a video, ask a question. You can ask it to generate an audio. I mean, it's truly amazing what they've managed to do it. That is exactly what we are going to see in this video. To start with, I would like to qu quickly show you a demo. So this is the demo page of next GPT. It is running a radio application. You can go here and then say, okay, I just simply said, can you make a video of waves in the beach? The moment I said that it takes a couple of minutes, but then it generated the video waves. So you can see the in the same chat interface, you get to chat, you get a chat and it also gives you the video back. Let's go to the GitHub and then see the architecture. So this is the place where the model is there, the code is there and also the data is there that is used to train next GPT. So this is an any to any multimodal model, which means you can input text, image, video, audio, and you can also get output text, image, video, audio. If you see the demo that they've got very nicely, you can understand that how you can have a question about text to audio, which means you're giving an audio as an input. And then you are also giving a text saying that describe this audio and then it gives you the text in the back and then you can also ask it to generate image and video. If you go to the project folder, uh, the project page, you've got a very nice architecture. So if you see the architecture, you can see different segments in the architecture. The first one being is you have a multimodal input encoding. So you've got text, image, audio, video. So all these modalities get encoded with respective encoders. So you've got an image encoder, you've got an audio encoder, you've got a video encoder. Now those things are linearly aligned with other projection. So you can see a linear projection. So image encoder gets linearly projected, audio input and video input. And then there is an LLM that that is there to comprehend all these things. That means all these things have to be converted into text for the LLM to understand. And that is something that you can actually see when they describe this thing. So if you see what is the model that they are using it, so they have three stages. One, they've got a multimodal encoding stage. Then they've got an LLM understanding and reasoning stage and they've got a multimodal generation stage. So you've got a multimodal encoding stage, the LLM understanding and reasoning stage. And then finally, you've got a multimodal output generation stage. And if you see the multimodal encoding stage, what they've done is they are leveraging the established existing models to do encodings of various modalities. And the model that they're taking advantage of is image bind, which is a unified encoder across six modalities. Then this is being mapped via linear projection with the different input representations so that the output of this is comprehensible for LLM. And the LLM, the core LLM in this particular case is Vicuna, is used to understand all these things and also give instructions for the next stage. So the instruction following alignment is made here. And that is finally sent to the decoding layer or the output generation layer. And they use stable diffusion for image synthesis. They use zero scope for video synthesis. They use audio LDM for audio synthesis. And you can see all the model details completely projection on this table. You've got like the image bind for audio that the sorry image bind for encoder the first the first bit, the multimodal encoding input encoding, and they've got like the input projection, which is the linear layer you can see. And they've got the LLM semantic understanding, which is Vicuna. And they've got the output projection finally, which is the stable diffusion for this and the audio LDM for audio and zero scope for video generation. It's truly amazing what they've managed to build by taking different bits and pieces. I mean, anytime I try to put together a project or try to do a use case, this is what I basically do. I mean, I go to Stack Overflow, I go to ChatGPT, I go to BART, and then I take all the bits and pieces, connect it together and put together a nice use case. I think that's truly engineering. Maybe maybe it's not for a lot of people. It's definitely not research, but it's truly engineering according to me. How The way you connect different building blocks is quite amazing. And that's exactly what they've managed to do it. The, the, the fact that it's not just purely a paper, it's also a model. 
and they have released everything where you can yourself go run it it is quite amazing i did not try to run it because you know i wanted to check whether it is compatible with google collab which doesn't seem like you know a case but at least they've got a very nice demo so you can play with the demo for example i can go here and then ask it to do certain things for a, for example i can like upload an image here uh, i can say okay this is the image that i have got let me upload the image let me upload the image and then say can you make a can you make a poem about this image image or i can just simply say describe this image describe this image send this question so now you can see that we have like four modalities one text the image the audio and then the video so you can upload any of these things and ask it to do certain things or you can just ask simply question and ask it to respond generate this thing so i uploaded the image it said uh, this is an image generated by dali if you have seen my dali 3 video this is a toy model of a city with a miniature house and a train and a boat the house and train ow oh, it managed to identify the house and train are actually made of lego bricks and the boat is made of plastic okay the city is surrounded by water uh, there are trees and okay can you generate an input uh, can you generate an audio for a youtube intro let me just send this uh, it's a fresh session session i'm not sure if it was anything wrong with the previous session because it continuously had a very similar kind of comment and again like now you can understand right why people are trying to build one single multimodal system because that understands everything together when you stitch certain things uh, separately it might result in something but yeah we have got like a youtube intro let's listen to it not bad not bad um let me try something else now can you I, i'll upload the same image that i was trying can you you generate an audio based on this image or i should say please generate an audio based on this image submit and run it and then see if it can understand the image and then generate the audio and uh, like i said i managed to do this last time when i demoed this model and it kind of worked out at this time the inference is quite good i don't have any details about where they have hosted it but you know to be honestly um the the speed of inference is quite decent i would say um if we manage to run this on google collab that'll be quite amazing they've also attached the paper um for us to check okay so it has taken the image and it has managed to generate the audio let's see that's a scary bit of audio to be honest can you generate okay please generate a video based on this image uh, let me upload the image now i'm going to upload the toy image and i'm going to run it the video usually takes a couple of minutes um because you know it has to generate video because it's using video scope which we have i think already covered on this channel maybe not but uh, overall what i feel about this is this is a very detailed project like the details are quite amazing you can go see here how everything works based on the segments that they have got like if you chat with this for example you first ask a question it's text that it directly goes to llm then you are trying to make it generate some image so the image is generated and after that you are going to again you know the image goes inside the image encoder you are going to ask a question about it goes back to llm video projection video diffusion comes back it now video also goes back it back inside the system so you can very well see how all these things are you know attached together like work synchronously for it to generate what is like a truly multimodal any to any multimodal system it's quite impressive like what they have managed to do um, one thing that i would like to remind is that so what they have also introduced is that they have introduced a modality switching instruction tuning and a high quality data set for mozart so this is something that people can use to build certain things on top of it like when, if you wish to do it and uh, this has got like a decent open source license not a license that uh, people have twisted and uh, trained um, for whatever that their need is i i honestly believe like this is this is the way to go about like especially if you want to save cost because this is going to be truly a low cost training and also it helps you expand into new modalities without having to necessarily completely train a new model in in itself it's quite amazing like okay so we our video is ready so we uploaded the image we already saw what it understood about the image let me play the video 
it's quite good like even if it is not necessarily the exact thing it understands it's a lego it's and it understands certain nuances about the uh, place and it managed to generate a three seconds clip for us for us to see that this actually works so truly multimodal system is what we have got with next gpt kudos to the authors for uh, putting together a very nice detailed presentation from uh, university of singapore national university of singapore in us many years ago i wanted to go study there but you know unfortunately i didn't have money at that time to go do my masters at nus singapore but uh, here i am covering nus singapore on my channel if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting